One of the trends I saw is it's all about anatomy. Um, there's there's some several patterns. One is anatomy. Uh, I, I see that um, how surgical procedures are performed are going to be vital, and I mentioned this before. So you're going to see I'm going to showcase that in this presentation is connecting the codes with how the procedures perform and the importance of anatomy. And just to illustrate that point, you have your code book in front of you, turn to 20240 and 20245. These two codes, there's subtle changes in there. They're revised codes, not new codes. The bone biopsy has been around for a long time. And the toggle switch is between superficial and deep. Interesting enough, this year what they added was some um, embedded in the codes with some more descriptive terms for what constitutes superficial versus what constitutes deep. And the reason being is a committee that AMA has in place that reviews the use of codes found out that the deep codes were being used inappropriately when the documentation didn't support deep. So they've added more structures. Now one of the things, and this is not an official coding guidance, so I don't want to go down that path, but a, a good kind of rule of thumb, superficial means you can feel it. You can feel your bones in your foot, you can feel your bones in your elbow, you can feel your bones in your kneecap. You can't really feel your ischium, your hip bone deep. So that's, that's just kind of a, just a fun little fact. They uh, reworked some of the codes of the pelvic ring fracture, dislocation, et cetera codes were deleted, reworded, and brought it back. And the key point is they want you to differentiate between posterior and anterior pelvic ring. And I have a diagram for you. I pulled off the internet and I circled on here um, the, the, the uh, locations of the posterior pelvic ring. And if you want to follow along, along with me, 27197 is the code. 27197 is reserved for closed treatment, no manipulation, the code after that is manipulation of a posterior pelvic ring. And the sites I've circled on the diagram there are identified as what's posterior ring, ilium, sacroiliac joint, and, and or the sacrum. And then it's interesting that part of the code says with or without also an anterior fracture and uh, repair, uh, not repair, but this, um, manipulation. The interesting part is that the posterior, the anterior side of the pelvis, which includes the pubic bones, the pubic synthesis, there's guidance that if you only perform close treatment on the anterior ring, then it's an E and M code. So that again, that tells you that it's important to pay attention to the anatomy because uh, the surgical code versus an E M code would be a, a big difference. 